In the Hardware Configuration Editor, click the Online button. Placing the Hardware Configuration Online shows a graphical representation of where problems exist. In the Online view, double-click the CPU to open the Module Information tool. Click on the Diagnostics Buffer tab. Message 1 shows that the CPU is in stop mode because of a rack failure. Let's click on Message 2. Message 2 says that the distributed I.O. station has failed. In the Details window, the DP station that went down is number 4 and is part of the Profibus Master System 1. Close the Module Information tool. Let's take a look at Station Diagnostics. To open its Module Information tool, double-click on the IM151-1 with Profibus address number 4. On the General tab, we see that the module is not available, which agrees with what we see graphically. Click the DP Slave Diagnostics tab. This shows us that the station is not accessible by means of the bus, that is, Profibus. We will now do a physical inspection of the system to see if we can determine what's wrong. It could be a Profibus cable, a connector, a failed interface module, no power to the interface module, or something else. After inspection, it was determined that the wires in the Profibus connector to the ET200S station were not making a solid connection. The cable was trim, the wire newly stripped with a Profibus cable strip tool, and a new connector put on the cable. After the problem was fixed, the CPU was switched to stop and back to run. The station is now up. To refresh the window, press the F5 key. All faults are now cleared. Here is a second case scenario where the Profibus station is down like before, but this time, OB86 was created and downloaded to the PLC. Double-click the CPU to open the Module Information tool. Click on the Diagnostic Buffer tab. Now you can see that the CPU is still in the run mode because OB86, the organization block that protects against rack failures, was downloaded. The first message shows that it is Station 4 that is down. When the problem is fixed, the station immediately comes back up and all faults are cleared without having to switch the CPU to stop and back to run. To refresh the Hardware Online Configuration Editor, press F5. In this video, you saw an example of troubleshooting a Profibus station that is down and the difference between how the CPU acts without OB86 loaded and with OB86 loaded to the CPU. This concludes the video on troubleshooting a Profibus station.